Okay, today we are actually starting with um, a topic that is familiar to some of you and may not be familiar to one of you. I'd like us to start with a topic that will cut across everybody, which is um, electrolysis, right? The electrolysis is one topic that um, students always have um, challenges on in chemistry. I can see Aikori nodding ahead head already, right? <laughs> Ramon, what do you know about electrolysis? Tell me what you know about electrolysis. Anything you know about electrolysis? Anything? Electrolysis is about... Okay. Don't, br don't browse. So. Don't, nobody should browse. The electrolyte... I could, uh, Mitchell, <laughs> let me see your face well. Yeah, the... Adjust your camera, Mitchell. Uh -huh, better. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes? Electrolysis is about what? It's about the electrolytes <laughs> and the electrode and the um, oh. current that is passing through the electrodes. Okay, thank you. And you say something. Mitchell, tell me about electrolysis. <laughs> Everybody must talk. Um, Everybody will talk in my class. Yes? Okay. Electrolysis is... Mm -hmm. Okay. There are compounds. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are compounds in, in molten. Okay. I think mm -hmm. that they that conduct electricity. Okay. Fine. Good. Uh, I could read. Tell me about electrolysis. Electrolysis can be defined as the chemical decomposition of a compound okay. through an electric current mm -hmm. passing through either a molten solution. Okay. Or... Mm. Mm. Good. Fine. Fine. If one says something. Now, in my class, no answer mm. is wrong. Are you together? No answer is wrong. No answer is stupid. So just whatever I think is nonsensical, just say it. Say that nonsense. I want to hear you say that nonsense, right? My job is to remove the non and keep the sense. Are we together? Are we yes, together? Sir. Good. So, yes, so let me share my screen. Yes, sir. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Can you all see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So we'll be looking at electrolysis, terminologies, and mechanism. That's the first part. This part one. Electrolysis, terminologies, and mechanism. Yes, okay, fine. So what will be the objective? What's the objectives? One, you should be able to define the basic terminologies used in electrolysis. And what are those basic terminologies? Electrolysis itself, electrolytes, electrodes, cathode, anode, right? Are we together? Yes, sir. Fine. Then you need to differentiate mm -hmm. between strong and weak electrolytes with examples. So you have to differentiate between weak, strong and weak electrolytes with examples. And then lastly, to be able to describe the mechanism of electrolysis. Are we together? Yes, sir. Good. Now, at the end of this first part, I will evaluate you on this objective. So take note, right? Yes, sir. All right, let's start. So ask what electrolysis is. Okay. So what is electrolysis? Yeah, it's probably giving different um, definitions. Let's, so let's see. Electrolysis comes from two words, right? Two words. One, electro, which means what? Electron flow or current. That's electro, from electrons. Are we together? Yes, sir. And then lysis. What is lysis? To decompose or to break down. Are we together? So electro and lysis combine to give us what? Electrolysis. Are we together? Yes, sir. Good. So what is now electrolysis? I will now define electrolysis. Can I define electrolysis as what? In breaking down. As a chemical decomposition of a compound by passing what? Direct current. Direct or very, very key. Passing direct current. Direct current, right? Chemical what? Decomposition. These are the key words that you must take note of. Chemical decomposition of a compound. What kind of compound? Ionic what? Compound. Are we together? Yes, sir. Fine. Ionic compound. Yes, sir. Passing of direct current through, through its what? Molten state or aqueous solution. I call it said molten solution. You said molten yes. solution. Yes. There's nothing like molten solution. Why? Because when something is molten, it means that it has what? Melted. Right? 
When something is molten, it means that's what melted. But when something is in solution, what does that mean? When something is in solution, what does that mean? It's still in a um, pure state. Nope. When something is a solution, what does it mean? Liquid. Ah, sorry. When something is a solution, Liquid. what does it mean? Liquid. Liquid. Mm, not fully, not completely. Solution. Sol ah. Mitchell, when something is a solution, what does it mean? Fantastic. Mm. Come again. Remember, no answer is stupid. No answer is wrong. When something is a solution, what does it mean? It means that it does it what? It is in its final state. So it dissolves. It dissolves in a what? In a solvent. Are we together? Yeah. When something is a solution, it means it dissolves in a solvent. Solution is better of what? A solute and what? A solvent. A solute and solvent gives us what? Solution. solution. Are we together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Solute and solvent gives us what solution? The most important solvent, a solvent, is a substance that dissolves another substance. True or false? Mm. Example of a solvent is what? Water. 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 Water is one of the most common word solvents, right? Which is why it is called a universal word yes, solvent. Sir. Are we together? Yes, sir. Yes. It's called a universal solvent because it dissolves many word substances. Are we together? Whereas a solute is a substance that dissolves in a solvent. A solute is a substance that dissolves in a solvent. Are we together? Yes, sir. Example of a solute is what? Salt. Salt. Good. Salt. Fine. Salt. So, now, I was trying to say they cannot have molten what? Solution. It's not possible. Something cannot be molten and at the same time is what? A solution. Now, from what I've explained here, for that thing to be a solution, it, there must be what? A solvent, which in this case will be what? Water. Are we together? Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. But yes, sir. for yeah. it to be molten, yes, sir. molten means that it has what? Melted. That is, it is in the liquid what? State. It's in the liquid what? State. Are we together? Now, for something to move from solid yes, sir. to liquid state, what does it need? For a substance to melt, to change from solid to liquid state, what does it what does it need? Heat. Heat, exactly. Heat. So when something is molten, it is heat that is applied. Are we together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When something is molten, it is heat yes, that is applied to convert it from solid to what liquid. And so when something is in solution, it means that it is dissolved in water, especially aqueous what solution. It means that it is dissolved in water. Are we together now? Yes, sir. Yes. So that's the major yes, difference sir. between molten state or aqueous word solution. Remember, in your SS1, when you learned about um, what do you call it, chemical combination, right? Ionic compounds and co. One of the properties of ionic compounds that you learned was that they are what? They are good electrolytes. Is it not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I said one of the properties of Ionic compounds that you learned about was that they are good electrolytes, which means that they conduct electricity. They conduct electricity what in their molten state or aqueous what solution. Are we together? Yes, sir. That's why they are yes. good electrolytes. So that's what we are bringing. It is that knowledge that we are now bringing here, right? Okay. Let's now see from electrolysis now the device in which electrolysis takes place. Is known as what? An electrolytic what? Cell. Are you together? Yes, sir. An electrolytic cell. Yes, sir. Is a device in which electrolysis what? Takes place. And it's made up of what? Electrodes. It is an assemblage. An assemblage of what? Electrodes, electrolytes, and what? And power supply. Are we together? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's now see. Can I clear my screen? No, sir. Don't worry, there's a video on this. I'll send the link to you, right? But just whatever you can just can't pick everything. I'll send I'll send the link to the video. Right? So now, all right, electricity cell, I said it's made up of what? Electrolytes, electrodes, and what? Um power, power supply, right? Fine. Yes, sir. And what's the electrolyte? Electrolyte. Is a compound, an ionic compound. 
first of all, it was bionic because it must contain what? Ions. The ionic compound that does what? That allows ionic compound that allows what? Current. That allows current to pass through it. That allows current to pass through it. In what condition? Under what condition? In its molten state. In its molten state. In its molten state, or aqueous what solution, right? And what will happen to it when that when that current passes through? And guess what? It guess what decomposed. And gets decomposed in the process. Are we together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gets decomposed in the process. So that's an electrolyte. An ionic compound that allows current to pass through it in its molten state or aqueous solution and gets decomposed in the what process? Electrolyte. That electrolyte is divided into two. You have what? Strong, strong good, strong electrolyte and what? Weak okay. electrolytes, right? Okay. Strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte. And what's the difference between strong and weak electrolytes? Strong electrolytes. Mm -hmm. Because when electricity is, passes through a strong electrolyte, it decomposes completely. But for weak electrolytes, it decomposes partially. Good. Strong electrolytes do what? Undergo what? Complete. Undergo complete ionization. Is ionization, not decomposition, right? They undergo complete ionization. Are we together? You know what? They break completely yes. into ions. Examples include strong acids, strong acids, strong bases, that's alkalis, right? Strong alkalis or strong bases, and what? Soluble what? Salt. All soluble what salts are you together? Yes, are you sir. together? Give me an example of a strong acid H2SO4. H2SO4, thank you, Asari. H2SO4, good, is a strong what acid. Another one, HCl, HNO3. These are all what strong acids. Why? Because they are ionized what completely. This is 2H plus plus what SO42 minus. This one gives us what? H plus plus what? Cl minus. Well, this one gives us H plus plus NO3 what? Minus. They ionize completely. H2SO4. 2H plus plus SO42 minus. HCl H plus plus Cl minus. HNO3, H plus, plus NO3 minus. Don't worry, even if the session ends and you do not get everything, I'll send the video link on the uh, okay. platform. So, how will you know that it's a uh, strong acid or that goes complete ionization? There's only one word, a uh, one directional word, arrow. Can you see? The arrow goes only one way, to the right only. It does not reverse. Are you together? Yes, sir. That's how you know a complete what? Ionization. Then, a strong alkali. There are just two of them at this stage. They are more than that, but mostly these are the ones you will concentrate on. Sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. They undergo complete ionization. So these are all strong electrolytes. Are you together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Strong electrolytes. Then, of course, a salt. Like your CUSO4, a soluble salt like your CUSO4 that will give you what Cu2 plus plus what SO4 2 minus plus SO4 2 minus or NaCl that gives you, that gives you Na plus plus Cl minus. Are we together? Yes, sir. 
Good. So these are all what strong electrolytes. You can see they all have what a single arrow moving from left to right. That to show that the reaction goes to what completion. Are we together? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that's that on strong electrolyte. We move to weak electrolyte. Weak electrolyte is the opposite of strong electrolytes. They undergo what we call what partial oxidation. Weak electrolytes undergo <laughs> partial oxidation. So undergo partial oxidation. Right? They undergo partial oxidation. And how will you know that they undergo partial oxidation? Now, examples. Ma? I'm sorry, you saying something. Between oxidation and ionization. Yeah, they don't undergo complete. Sorry. Oh, that should be ionization, not oxidation. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you, Jay. Kai. Oh, they're thinking about ionization. Thank you. Then I go partial ionization or incomplete ionization. Now, examples are weak acids and weak alkalis, right? And probably some insoluble word salts. Are you together? Yes, sir. Weak acids, weak alkalis, and some insoluble salts. So, 